Miyazaki Prefecture, Japan, May 2014. At the historic Miyaka no jo Shimazu residence, the mummified remains of a sea animal with webbed hands and feet are put on public display. Discovered in 1818, the bones are the first of their kind to be exhibited and are purported to be from the legendary Kappa, a species of amphibious humanoid creatures believed to lurk in the waters of Japan. The Kappa, which translates as water child, is a creature that is usually about five feet in height, has scaly skin, and is usually blue or green in color. It has a turtle shell on its back and a beak, as well as a kind of plate on the top of its head in which it always has to carry water. If it spills this water, then it loses all of its power and it can uh, die within a very short period of time. So the kappa is basically a water demon. The kappa is perceived to be a very malevolent and quite violent creature. And in fact, children are warned to stay away from bodies of water because the kappa will actually drag them in and drown them. While accounts of the kappa are rare in modern times, there are still sightings in remote areas, like the Fukuoka Prefecture. In fact, to this day, signs can be found posted near bodies of water throughout Japan, warning of the kappa. For ancient astronaut theorists, the kappa are not only real, but their existence is proof of otherworldly beings inhabiting the Earth's waters. These kappa are reported as having an unusual intelligence. Apparently, they can speak even though they have a bird-like beak. And now, physical, tangible artifacts of the body of the kappa have gone on display. Will we find genetic markers that clearly show that it could not be something from Earth? All right, guys, welcome to the TMD um, unboxing video. We are going to be building this little cute kit. Uh, it's called Kapi, uh, Kapi? Kappa Gajiro uh, Fukusaki Yokai Plastic Model Series Volume 1. This is the box. Um, not a big box, by all means. Uh, let me do a quick measurement. It is about 200 centimeters. Uh, oh, 20 centimeters, sorry. Comes in a very thin box. Um, ABS, that's the material. The side there, it's got a, an old kind of black and white picture of a illustration of a kappa. Um, now, I got the wife to look at this. It's some guy that was researching about Japanese yokai in... Uh, 1875 um, like I know we did the live show last night so I will be doing some other videos on the history of Kappa and where they originate from and why and all that good stuff uh, on the back of the box you've got three different angles of the Kappa um, it's got loads of like Japanese text on there and it's got like an old painting as well um, it's on a little rock with a base um, and yeah it's great if you're a novice modeler um, you know good for the kids side the box you've got two sprues I did open this quickly last night on the show um, Spruce is that the rock goes together, so you're gonna have a massive seam line. Yeah. Where you stand and you need all that nice detail. Yeah. Um this sprue here is just put that up a little bit for the viewers that are watching live. Um you get your rock. Um that must be the back of the shell the turtle shell 
Uh, you've got the head on two parts and the rocks two parts. The body comes in two parts as well. Now with this kit on the back, there's no pegs. So when you're gluing this together, be careful that you know that they're in uh, they're set properly. This kit is made in China. You see that? Um, and it is ABS plastic. This one has the hands, hair, which I'm debating on how to put on because I'm not going to use their hair provided I've got an idea I'm gonna use an old uh, Chinese brush and then I'm gonna cut the hair off it like for example let's say one of these brushes I'm gonna cut here cut that off now, these, these are like a hundred yen you get them in a pack you know I'm because like it's black hair isn't it yeah I might dye it Oh, I might I might do like an old like kappa, like a very old looking one. Just uh, put in some really thin out uh, acrylic paint. Like cheap yeah. Paint. Oh, I've got the inks as well, probably. Black ink I could use. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Now, the actual surface um, is ridged. Um... And it has little like pimples and scaling on there. It is textured. Um, even on the arms and hands, that's got some texture on there. But it's a very quick thing to build. Uh, it's nothing too strenuous. Now, the instructions. There isn't any. It's the weirdest thing about this kit. Um, you've got the box out at the back the kit fully built um, this just tells you how everything well it doesn't tell you how to put it together really it just has parts numbers on there which will be interesting um, so it's the first time I've ever had experience of that and uh, let's get cracking um, like I said I'm kind of like building this blind almost let's crack on Self-explanatory, really. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Because I'm going to edit this for my video, so I'm not too bothered about the sound. So.
Kappa, alternatively called Kawatoro or Kawako, are legendary creatures found in Japanese folklore. In Shinto, they are considered to be one of many Sujin. Kappas are typically depicted as roughly humanoid in form, about the size of a child. Their scaly, reptilian skin ranges in colour from green to yellow or blue. Despite their reptilian features, Kappa are said to have ape-like faces and scraggly green hair. Kappas supposedly inhabit the ponds and rivers of Japan and have various features that aid them in this environment, such as webbed hands and feet. They are sometimes said to smell like fish, and they can certainly swim like them. Despite their small, childlike size, they are physically stronger than a grown man. They attack horses, cattles, and humans, usually dragging their prey into the water, 
where, according to various legends, it feeds on their blood, or drains their life force, or pulls out their livers through their anuses, or sucks out their entrails, leaving nothing behind except a hollow gourd. Their most notable feature is an indentation on the top of their head that holds water. This is regarded as the source of their power. This cavity must be full whenever a kappa is away from the water. If it spills, the kappa will be unable to move, and possibly die. Although they are reported to inhabit all of Japan, they are often said to be particular to a saga prefecture. Japanese folklore states that the kappa are generally very polite. This can be exploited as, if you bow to a kappa, they will feel obliged to bow back, causing the water in their head to spill, thus disabling itself. They will eat almost anything, but they are particularly fond of raw innards and cucumbers. This is a weakness that can be used to a human's advantage. According to one tale, an offering of cucumbers, on which are etched the name and age of your family members, is enough to appease the kappa, who thereafter will refrain from harming you and your family. Even today, cucumber sushi in Japan is called kappamaki. Kappa are usually seen as mischievous troublemakers. Their pranks range from the relatively innocent, such as loudly passing gas or looking at women's kimonos, to the malevolent, such as drowning people and animals or kidnapping children. Kappa are proud and stubborn, but also fiercely honourable. They will never break a promise that they make. Kappa possess keen intelligence, and they are one of a few yokai able to learn human languages. They are also highly knowledgeable about medicine and the art of setting bones. According to legend, these skills were first taught to humans by friendly Kappa. One possible explanation for these creatures is a giant Japanese salamander, which is rumoured to grow up to 8 feet in length and lives only in clean, clear streams, which is unfortunately where people like to play. Another is that it could be a new or prehistoric kind of amphibian, such as a Temnospondyl.